Hey, what up, what up, what is up, everybody, and welcome back to the Cornbread Returns YouTube channel. This is Let's Play Wargroove, a pretty newish game uh, that we are pretty deep into our Let's Play now, uh, running through the whole campaign. Pretty newish. Uh, I think last month or so this has been out. It actually launched for, I think, Nintendo Switch and PC. This is the PC version. We're just running, like I said, running through the whole campaign. We're pretty deep into it now. Uh, if you guys have been watching, thanks so much. Welcome back. Uh, we were just about to start another main campaign mission. If you guys remember last time, we just did a couple of the side missions, with the, which are signified by this little circle, right? So these square ones, or square-ish with rounded corners, are the main campaign, and these are actually the side missions. But thank you so much for coming out, guys. Really appreciate it. But let's just get right into it. Now allies, Emmerich and Koji, band together to take on a shadowy foe they thought they had eluded. Ooh, mysterious. Let's do it. And beautiful, this is Koji, the little son of the Empress. Um, uh, Mr. Emmerich, I mean, Lord Emmerich, can I speak your to you for a highness. moment? Of course, your highness. I just wanted to say, I'm really sorry for fighting you. I messed up. Please don't trouble yourself about it, young prince. It was good to spar with a member of the Heaven Sung Imperial family once more. And if I may say so, you're an impressive fighter. <laughs> ah, thank you. A lot of positivity in this game in general. Like, I'm like, once we beat guys, I'm like, cut their freaking heads off. And this game's like, no, we're just going to let them go so they can fight us later. Okay. Uh, and I'm like, cut their goddamn heads off. They're traitors, you know? Now, we really should catch up with... You thought you could slip away. Ah, it's Sedge. Damn it. Sedge is such an asshole, but no one escapes from Sedge. You're Sedge. You shouldn't be here. Uh, why are you pursuing a Sedge? Greenfinger has Greenfinger. Ha! A rotten stump of a Florin. This guy is, he's just an asshole. He just won't give up. Greenfinger can't stop Sedge anymore. Sedge is off the leash. Yeah, I can say that. Yeah. yeah. Emmerich, he has giants with the what to do. Koji, I need you to hold off Sedge. There are dragons in the mountains who could aid us. I'm going to seek them out. Ooh, we get dragons soon, guys. We faced those guys, but we've never been able to use them yet. But I, yes, sir, truly you are our mother's son. There you go. go, Tenko! So here we go. Um, Beautiful. Koji, I'm counting on you to hold off Sedge and his troops. No problem, Lord Emmerich. I won't let you down. In the meantime, I'll make my way south. Excellent. So yeah, yeah, these are the dragons. With their assistance, we should easily be able to take on Sedge's giants. Excellent. So, right. So it looks like we got to move down with Emmerich, essentially. It'd be really nice if you could just, like, waypoint this guy out, you know. I bet that's a quality of life improvement they will uh, will eventually add. Um, so here we are. Emmerich's going to move down there. And here they are, the giants. Interesting. Okay, so, like, can I cross the river at certain points? This is Sedge's troops. These are all Sedge's troops. Okay. Hmm. Where is Sedge? Like, out of general curiosity. I don't see him. Squirmy little bastard. Who knows? Who knows where Sedge is? Doesn't really matter. Um, basically, he's asked us to hold these guys off until we can get the dragons. But honestly, like, should we, like, we should probably be moving and taking these towns as we go, right? Question mark? <laughs> uh, okay. So this thing is going to try to mush us. So let's get up there. Start moving our guys up for sure. You know, yeah, I think. So we've never been these guys before. The Shiba Inu, I knew they're Shiba Inus. Yes, little Japanese dogs are little Shiba Inus. Oh my god, I've murdered them in the past, but we're friends now. Okay, so I'm gonna yay. I'm thinking like these fast strike troops are the things we need right now, guys, because we are gonna be in, under a little bit of a time crunch. I'm thinking. Because really, we need to destroy that trebuchet before it can do anything terrible to us. But uh, I, I'm not 100% sure about the uh, the strategy on this one yet. So let's just play it by ear and try not to die. Yeah, yeah. so they are going to bring that down. I, I figured that'd be the case. Yeah, oh my god, tons of troops. Tons of troops. So yeah, let's do that. We do need to keep moving forward, but hey. Might as well take this and earn a little extra dough on the side until they can retake them. It might actually, you know, um, it might actually, uh, you know, give us a little bit of an advantage. Okay, yeah, I don't love that. So he's close to being able to hit that. So if I move here, next turn I can actually attack that thing. And that's exactly what I want to do. 
So I'm out of gun range right now. He could move here, but he can't shoot us here. Yeah. So you can see his shooting range is uh, is the empty squares, right? And his movement range is the ones with the uh, diagonal slashes across it. So we are going to be pretty aggressive at taking this thing out. We really need to take that thing out as fast as humanly possible. In fact, I probably should have moved um, my horse into position instead of uh, Koji just because... Uh, just because, uh, I don't know, guys, I think eventually we're going to want these, but also we need some wagons to fast deploy our troops. Well, hmm. Technically, can't you walk across single, single tiles like this? You can. It's just extremely slow, and they've kind of made it so it's not going to be easy to do it, right? Because you're going to have to move into the mountains first. So it's not like we can sneak a guy down there to, that could even, even beat Emric. So really what we're looking to do, let's just save our money. We don't need anything at this moment of, of crucial value. So let's just do this. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're going to be smart with that. They don't want to get the thing killed. Yeah, they got the giants. They got the giants, but the dragons will easily be able to take them out. So I'm really not, like, in any way worried. This is what we have to worry about more. And that's actually interesting. They did just get some, uh... Let's... Knowing that... Knowing that... Let's get a Thunder Bear. <laughs> Thunder Bear. You gotta be kidding me. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's gonna be good. Right. So, it's still out of range. That would be out of range, too. Go here. It's out of range. Where else is out of range? Well, yeah, that spot would be out of range. Same with that spot. In fact, if he doesn't move, if he doesn't move back, he's going to get bopped next turn pretty badly. And we're going to move this Thunder Bear up to give us some uh, anti-air support here because it does look like they just spawned an aerial unit. They did. Um, so that's that's obviously, you know, not ideal for us. I'll bring him down here. Turn three. We are going to grab these on our way, really. Like, I don't think we're in, like, any... Okay, that was their strategy. So that's not obviously, like, not great for us, but... Yeah, so they're super distracted by that. Yeah, I figured. They're pretty fast, though, guys. I'm a little bit worried about them catching us. If we're not careful, we will get caught and probably murdered. Yeah, yeah, they're gonna move. They're gonna move troops up pretty aggressively. I don't know how 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 smart that was on their part for a couple different reasons, but we'll see. I mean, that is a that is one of a night. That's a night guy. And the reason I say that is because I think all these guys are well within my range. They are. I could straight up murder that guy, which I'm going to do. And I'm going to significantly damage this. Good. Very good. Very, very good. Uh, and I'll move this guy up pretty aggressively. This Thunder Bear can come down and, uh, and take this, uh, but we really just need him to get up here as well for uh, aerial support. So yeah, these guys are gaining on us pretty quickly. <laughs> pretty quickly. Uh, but you know what? They're pretty distracted by this as well, though. They're, I mean, they're distracted by these towns. So I don't, I don't mind taking them, actually. I mean, the, you know, I could move a little bit better. Yeah, he'll be fine. He'll be able to move up here. Probably, maybe he'll take one good beating. But he'll be okay. Well, can I go anywhere else? Yeah, yeah, I can. I have money. Uh, in fact, let's get one more of these. Let's get one more. Yep. I figured that'd be the case. And this is honestly ideal because remember, heroes heal themselves. So he just signed his death warrant. We're gonna do a ton of damage on that on the counterattack. And he just signed his death warrant. And I think that's gonna be really, really, really good. Really good. Let's we'll see what they do. What else they do here? But I think that's the ideal situation. Yeah. So we should be able to kill both of these things and get our boy back um, at the same time. So let's do this. 
Yeah, they're going to move these guys up pretty aggressively. Okay. My God. Jesus Christ. So, what we want to do is we want to get this guy back and capture this. Anyone home? Anyone home? Oh, I was going to be like, what just happened? Either way, we're in pretty good shape here. Yeah, I mean, we could we could get very, very aggressive. In fact, this might be the way to go right here, yeah. Because there'll be zeros on both sides, but this guy should die. And we're just going to retreat. There's no reason to be too aggressive up here. Like, that catapult can't do shit to us. Uh, and we can get this guy up in a good position right here where, um, well, he can hit that. At, he can hit this guy, actually. Right, this is a river. Interesting. Well, is this guy in? What's he in? No. He's in non-defensive territory. Well, no. We're going to get him out of there. We don't want him to die. Move back. He'll, this thing will probably still shoot at this because that's going to be his priority according to his AI. And that's going to be just fine. We've got we've got some anti-air. We'll get one more. We'll get one more Thunder Bear. Uh, and we'll get Emmerich to move his ass. Oop. If I capture the tower, the dragons will, will heed our command. Exactly. There's no time to lose. Well, yes, there is no time to lose, buddy, but I don't know how your situation is going over here. Yeah, they're super triggered by this. Very good. Very, very good. So, I mean, obviously they're going to take it out, but, like, honestly, that's really not a bad situ situation for me. That's interesting that they go after this guy. It's probably the only guy they can go after, though. But uh, they'll pay the price for that. Yeah, because they're still going to go after my hero. They'll pay the price for that. I'm going to kill him straight up, so. Yep, they're going to move up. Lots of aerial troops. I wonder if they're going to... Please don't spawn any more guys in. I mean, this is getting ridiculous. I mean, how am I going to hold all these guys off? This is just ridiculous. Those dragons better be like the dopest things in the world. Um, I think I have to do it. I don't know. Hopefully this doesn't prevent us from taking the tower... Uh, that next turn because that would really suck. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So first things first. Just go kill this thing. Pew, pew, pew. Dead. Good. Um, let's bring you back and we'll reinforce you. Back to full. Bring these guys up. Um, if I keep my hero here, they're going to go after it. But you know what? I'm actually very okay with that. So I'll be able to move him back. Yeah. Let's just stay in a very, very, like, defensive formation. Um, but also maybe get some more shooters. Well, not yet. Save our ducats. Because we're about to have a dragon-like station. Yes, excellent. He can still get there. Good. Thank God. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We're going to do nothing. Just because maybe maybe these guys, the shooters, will go after my hero. They will. Excellent. So they had to move, so they're not going to get critical. He's at plus one. He, he's going to take some damage here, but I think that's going to be okay. They're just kind of exposing themselves here, uh, which is really good for us. Yeah, they're going to move down. Uh, they're going to take that. That's excellent. That's just fine. We're in really good shape right now. There's Sedge's bitch ass, finally. A dick. Uh, yeah, that's getting dangerously close, but, I mean, I'm hoping... I'm hoping that won't matter. Might lose a little more ground up here. I mean, this is just getting ridiculous. Yeah, this is just stupid, you guys. Come on! Yeah, yeah, Sedge will make you suffer. I mean, yeah, I feel like that, that's... I feel like that too, bud. So, we obviously have to save... We obviously have to save Emmerich's ass here before we can do anything with those dragons. Mighty dragons, we seek your aid in a time of need. Will you help us? 
Whoa, dragons! Thank you. Thank you. The Terran team red. Excellent. Uh, yes, we can. And we will. We will. What's their crit? Critical hit when target is standing on or next to a road. Okay, well, there we go. They're dead. And we're going to send the other one over immediately to help our buddies. We're going to send our third one immediately. Well, we could probably even... Wow, dragons are incredible. That gloom giant didn't stand a chance. Let's make sure we use them wisely. Yes, you will regret this. Okay. So this guy can't do jack S. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to send this... This one dragon is going to be just fine. Plus Emmerich, just fine. So let's get our dragons over because we need to get them... Uh, in reinforcing position immediately for these guys. Otherwise, my, my dudes are going to take an absolute beating. Get you down here. Let's just move everybody back. We're going to move everybody back. Oh, you can really move. How can you hit that far? Huh. I don't know. Doesn't really matter. Yeah, we're just backing everybody off. Move him there. Excellent. Just wait. We're just going to wait with everybody now. He might move in here and shoot somebody, but honestly, I I would almost welcome it at that point. So, great. We've got our we've got our dragons coming in. I do want to save our money because we might be able to get another dragon. So, let's do something like what is an Ani? Oh, we have the giants now, too. Very interesting. Very, 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 very interesting. So, you know what? I'm not going to buy any troops right now. None. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do anything. We'll see what they do. Yeah, 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 they're stupid. They're stupid enough to move up and attack my guy when he's in a plus four. Like, that won't even do anything. That won't move the needle for them at all. It's going to be a very, very good. They're not going to be able to kill this in one shot. Oh, they did. Holy shit. That's pretty good. I'm a little upset about that. And this is fine because we're going to have Emmerich go and take all these back. So he, Emmerich's just going to move his ass north. Because he's he'll be pretty well protected. Him and a dragon will just do that. So we don't lose him. You know, we're not in any danger, immediate danger of losing him in any way, shape, or form. But... I'll be careful. We also need to be careful in general being attacking with these dragons too aggressively because, um, you know, they do have these guys. So I think what's going to be also pretty crucial to our overall success is having some kind of anti-air. I'm thinking almost like a witch, right? So we can we can buy another one straight up. But I think I think what we really want is a witch. And uh, but we are going to watch our money. Yeah, go ahead and kill him. Gosh, these things are awesome. Finally, we get to use them. We've faced them like 9,000 times. Yeah, yeah, So just go back and capture. And we're just going to... We'll move up. Em Emmerich and this dragon will move up. Just so Emmerich has some protection. Well, I don't know. Emmerich probably doesn't need any more protection, to be completely honest. So maybe... Well, actually, that's not true. Because the dragons will be able to pretty much flush these things out. So what I might have is I'll, go, I'll have the dragon go ahead, uh, ahead of him and just murder all those. Excellent. I think that's the plan. That's a really good plan. Uh, okay. So they're kind of staying out of range right now, but that's fine. Yeah, these guys. They're being very careful moving their troops up. They do have flyers, but so do I. Yeah, just move them up and let's kill these guys. Yeah, I don't want to do that, though, do I? No. Just do this. I think that's going to be just fine. Maybe kill him? No. I'm pretty damn close. I don't want them feeling too, getting too chummy. We'll do 70 damage. That'll do 45. What will you do? 70? Excellent. Do it. Remember, we had dragons on our side. We got dragons on our side, which we're about to bring up. These guys are going to take so little damage. And we've still got more of these guys. We'll go ahead and capture the town, which they'll get super distracted by. So we might even lose these guys just because they get so distracted. 
the computer. Seriously, they just like they it, like doesn't work. They get so distracted by the towns that I, I'm not even worried about it. Go ahead and just finish this off. Don't want no trebuchets in my area. These guys can't even get down there. They can't even get down to that guy. So overall, we're doing pretty damn good. This guy is in a really good position. So let's just make sure that uh, this guy can't get to him. He can't. And we're not going to let that guy get to anybody except this guy. So we'll see what they do. I mean, they've got anti-air. I mean, these guys are their anti-air units, right? So I think what the, the plan is, is to try to kill these things as soon as possible. And with that, this is what you want for those. So we're going to get another one preemptively. And uh, we'll move these up. For now, we have enough dragons. We have enough dragons. We're fine. We're just fine. And uh, we will get we will get more of those guys, too. Uh, what are these guys? Where can they go? Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's just bring these guys up. But we really don't want to get these guys into a situation where they're uh, facing off against these. We want to kill those guys as soon as possible. Uh, yeah, yeah. As soon as possible. So, we'll see what they do. I mean, my goodness, though. Unbelievable. You know what we really need is like some ranged, like some trebuchets to set up over here. In fact, that might be the next move, guys. That should have probably been the move this time. You know, see what these freaking things do. Yeah, so they're going to come in pretty hard with these. But not the end of the world. Yeah, that'll be pretty aggressive with those. We're going to be pretty aggressive on those, though, too. We're going to move this guy up to do, do some damage there. These guys will die. Should. Only have three. Yep, excellent. On the counter, they died. Good. Let's see what these guys do. Yeah. See, they get so triggered by these things. They just, like, they can't. They have such a one-track mind. When they see these things, that is all they think about. Excellent. Good. Yeah, go after him. Go after my, go after my uh, plus four defensive. Okay, so yeah, here they come. Good, yeah, attack those guys. Yeah. Good, 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 good. Good. We're going to get another one of those as well. Wow, they're really going after it. Okay. More archers. God, I just have so many guys. It's going to get ugly over here. It's going to get very ugly. Bringing Sedge up. Interesting. So, uh, yeah, let's go just move this guy up and start rolling through these. We'll have this guy take out those. Yep, good. Kill her. Good. Uh, now, so, here's what I'm thinking. Yes, do this first of, first and foremost. Like I said, we just need to hold these guys off. And these things, these things are the biggest threat to our dragons. So once they're gone, well, ain't much of a resistance, let's just say that. Good. Yeah, yeah, We'll go ahead and reinforce that. Excellent. Back to 100. We'll see what they do there. Uh, same with this. We'll see what they do with this guy. Very interested to see what they do there. If I bring this guy here, they'll probably attack him. Not if I go on both sides, though. So if I go here... He can't even get there. Right? Well, maybe. Uh, no, though. Probably not. So if I go do this, and I just kill this guy. Just because I'm tired of their ranged units in general. Like I said, they get super triggered by this. So if I take this thing, just like this, I don't think they're going to like that at all. Anyone home? 
That always freaks me out. I think I'm gonna like lose. I'm gonna think I'm gonna die. Okay. So now what I want to do is I need more. I need more thunder bears because I need to make sure that I can take out. So they might make a move on my thunder bears over here. I need to make sure I can take this thing out because now that they have one, that makes me my dragons a little bit nervous. Now they can't get to him. They can't get to my dragons yet. But, I mean, as soon as they move this guy in, they'll be able to. And I really want to make sure that uh, these guys, my dragons are protected. Because they can't do anything against these guys, I don't think. I don't think. Um, but maybe it'll be worthwhile just getting one myself. But you know what? I think this is going to be fine. I think my Thunder Bears are going to be just fine. But we're going to keep these guys back. We're just, we're like in defensive mode right now. As you can see, this is pretty ridiculous. And uh, while this is around, I mean, once this is dead, all all... All bets are off. So, let's just see if we can make that happen. Yeah, they'll move up. Yep, okay. Interesting. That won't be a problem. I don't think that will be a problem, at least. Yeah, interesting. So, that would be a critical hit. So, they're... Oh, they're not dead yet? Wow, I thought they'd be for sure dead. For sure, I thought they'd be dead. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, he will come in. Do 10 damage to everybody. That's actually okay, and this is even more okay. So that's not good, obviously. Wait a minute. Can they kill this guy this turn? That would suck. No, they can't. So, I think what we're going to want to do is reinforce that if we can. Whew, not good. Yeah, they're moving up hard. So we'll want to reinforce him. Yeah, this is annoying. Did they just take that? They just have so many units. It's just, it's overwhelming. This is just overwhelming. Uh, so we obviously need to get him the hell out of here. Uh, he'll be able to come down here and reinforce for sure. Uh, but where is that guy? Where is he? There he is. So number one priority here is, number one priority is getting this guy up to do that. So let's just move this guy in and kill this. First and foremost. And you kill their shooters, basically. Because if this guy gets to re if my if my big guy gets to reinforce at all, I think he'll be fine. Get down here and reinforce. I think he's gonna be just fine right there. Um but we need to basically we needed to bring the dragons into the mix here. And we need to kill this, and now it's dragon time. Basically, it's dragon time now. <laughs> because now I can really start going after them with uh, all my dudes. So, same thing with you. What am I going to do with you right now? Well, I don't know yet. Well, I think I do know, actually. I'll probably kill this thing. Because uh, I don't want this thing going after the, this at all. Uh, yeah. I have to use this guy as a defensive against this because uh, if my if my mountain guys are there, they won't be able to do shit. Um, but let's just think about that for a second, first and foremost. So yeah, we, we can't have this guy, though, getting to our, uh, our boss man. But I don't think that will really be a problem, to be honest. Let's just get over here and start wrecking shit. Who can you, do, what, who can you attack? Everybody. Those archers are the last people that can do damage to you, in fact. But, well, who else can go? Okay, we've killed most of their flying units. Now, their flying units could go after these dragons, but do I really care? I don't know. Just get over here. Uh, I have 976. I can buy a witch, but no, I'm not going to do that. What does a balloon do? What? Aircraft able to transport ground units. No freaking way. So I can get Emmerich into this fight. I don't know if I want to, but I can. It's nice to know that I can. Uh, yeah. How do I want to handle this? He did just come in and do damage to those guys, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Excellent. So where can this little fly guy go? He can't get even get to my guy now. He can't even get to him, which I really like. 
So do this. Dragon's in it now, buddy. Dragon's in it now. Uh, yeah. Get up here. Kill this guy. I mean, like I said, it's really going to be interesting to see how aggressive they are now because they basically have no air defenses, right? The minute I kill, the minute I kill this archer and this guy, they have zero air defenses. I'll go kill this archer next, right? Like it's just like I'm it's a matter of just murdering all of their air defenses. So you know what? I'm actually not going to even do that yet. I'm not even going to be that aggressive yet because I want to keep their big guys in a position where I can kill them. Right, so I'll, do, I'll start doing this. And we'll see what they do. But right now, they're pretty vulnerable to, to, to the dragon attacks. And I really like that. That makes me happy. Uh, in fact, it makes me so happy, we're going to buy another dragon next turn. And we're going to take this town next turn. We're going to take that town. We're just going to go north. We're going to be really happy. I think that's what we want to do. And yes, that is how we're going to end our turn. So the dragons are in the battle now. We'll see what they can even... I don't even know what they can do. Yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll do some serious damage with these, with their trebuchets. And that will be, like, my next target, I think. Yeah, they'll come down here and do some pounding. And kill this guy for sure. I mean, we're going to lose some troops, but I think that's okay. I think after this turn, guys, we are going to go ahead. I'll do one more turn, then we're going to go ahead and put a cut on this video. Yeah, we're going to need to get our... Uh, we're going to need to keep retreating with Koji. But as we do that, our dragons will stick around and do some serious damage. Yeah, we're taking we're taking some beating here. We're taking a beating. I don't think these guys are gonna kill this guy, but they're gonna do some serious damage because this guy's so strong. Yeah. And that won't matter because he'll die anyway. I think. There goes Sedge. Sedge is dipping out. Okay, interesting. They're remembering the archers up. Mm-hmm. Dragon's gonna go after those guys next. So, like, it's very imperative right now that we use our dragons to take out any other defenses they have against our guys. Now, I will say, right now, they have their flying dudes still, and they just took out any of my guys able to kill the flying dudes. And, honestly, I don't think that they can be a priority. Basically, what I'm saying is we want a witch. It sucks that I had to spend it on that, but I do. I really do. As bad as this looks over here, I think it's going to be okay. This should be advantageous. So we'll do this turn, like I said, to make sure we're going to be okay. Which I really do think we are going to be okay. Get him out of there. Um, now, they left this guy too exposed. So we'll mostly kill this thing. And that's going to be just fine until the witch can get here. That's a critical hit right there. And that almost killed him. And that's going to be fine. I mean, he's dead no matter what. But to be quite honest, like the mere fact that they left their uh archers open to my attack is is basically the game because the minute the minute they can't the minute they can't do shit against my dragons it's it's over it's over johnny and right now even with that guy they can't do shit to my dragons so they just simply won't have the manpower or, or strength enough to put up any resistance down here against my troops. Now that, I, especially now that I'm fully fortified, right? So I'm fully fortified. I got a witch over here. So uh, it, it looks like we're in a dire straits up here. And, and we, we kind of are, right? I mean, but but right now we could just go after Sedge and end this thing with our dragons, which we probably will. They'll bring this thing over, but I don't think they can do anything to us, guys. Yeah, yeah. So they're going to go after this. No, no, no. We, we need to go after, we need to have to go after their giants then because uh, we obviously need to protect this. That's not good. Yeah, that's really bad, actually. So we need to kill these things immediately. This thing's almost dead, though. So the fact that we actually did did a little damage. So what we'll do is um, I'll defend the castle real quick. Just to assure everybody that it's okay. <laughs> uh, just to, to assure everybody. It's okay, I promise. This is just fine. No, I mean, it's not. It's not good, but we're going to be okay. Yeah, that's bad. Yep, so this is what they're going to do. This is their only defense right now. So we'll do a little bit of damage. Bee. And uh, we'll bring our big guy over. So I think, though, this is going to be fine. I mean, the biggest, yeah, the biggest wild card here is defending our castle.
gotta be pretty gotta be pretty aggressive then in taking out their uh, big guys. You're gonna be just fine. You have to move the trebuchets up, and that sucks. I mean, if if these guys get into play, we're in trouble. Uh, but first things first, basically, is what we need to we need to be very good about this. Uh, where can you go? You can take out the, these trebuchets. Excellent. We're gonna do that. Yep, one by one. We can't have these trebuchets get into play. Good. Uh, yep, we will defend the. We will protect this house. Uh, get you down here. Yeah, exactly. Where can you go? Pretty much anywhere. But you can't go down there. What if I went up here and attacked you? 38? No, no, let's let them come to us, actually. Like, as weird of a strategy as that is, I think that makes sense. I'm hoping we can do enough. So that did quite a bit there. Um, if we can prevent this guy from attacking this this next turn, this guy can't, this guy's not going to be able to do enough. So let's just wait there. And he actually can't attack it this turn. This guy can, and this guy can, but I don't think that's going to be enough. Let me bring this guy over. Yeah, we'll bring this, we'll bring our other dragon over. I think it's time. Bring him up. Excellent. So, really not worried about this guy. More worried about... Uh, and But he... I, they... they This guy actually is going... He's definitely going to attack him. Which is interesting. Uh, what do we want to do then? What would be best? You know what? I think saving my money would be best. Uh, because we got to keep these guys out of the fight. Um, but I think that's going to be enough. I don't think that they're going to have enough to, to, to take down my stronghold. We'll see. Yeah, yeah. He's going to go after him. Exactly. And that's gonna that's gonna suck. This is gonna hurt. They might actually just go after him entirely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't. Think this is gonna do it though, because that guy doesn't have enough health. Yeah, yeah. They're gonna be all right. I'll be okay. Whew! That was close. It's close to a stronghold loss. Uh, this won't do shit to my stronghold, which is excellent. Don't do a teeny bit of damage. And kill them. Excellent. So, like I said, we're the main, main, main mission right here, guys. Protect stronghold, protect hero, and we'll be in really good shape. I'm gonna kill that guy for sure. Yep, they'll keep doing a little bit of damage to my dragons, my dragons, which is fine. Yep, they're moving out. Moving out. Interesting. Interesting. Your groove. What manner of device I haven't uncooked up, I wonder. Uh, well, you'll see. I have these two flying bombs. Now, this is tech I can get behind. Make sure Caesar doesn't try to play flesh with them. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, yeah, What you got, bud? Uh, what does sparrow bombs do? I don't know. I'm a little worried to use them around my, uh... Uh... Yeah, we're not gonna do that. Yep, just get over here and wait. Mainly, let's get our dragon uh, to, to just destroy this guy with a critical hit. Done. Good. Um, let's get this guy to destroy this one with a critical hit. Done. Excellent. Let's get this guy. This thing only has one, really. Really, one health? Seriously. I didn't realize that. Um, they're moving those guys back. That makes a lot of sense. Let's kill this thing. Their little flying guy will run, most likely. One. I really... How did he get one? I did not realize that. Um, yep, get in here. Capture this. Excellent. I hope I can fit. I hope I can fit too. Well, you will, buddy. Let's do your little thing. Uh, and this video has gone way over time, you guys. So uh, we are going to have to just finish it next time. Uh, and we'll probably just like start the next mission in the next video. So uh, thanks so much for coming out. If you guys are appreciating this uh, Let's Play, 
um, yeah, just any support you guys can do, please just consider it. And that's a comment, like, a subscribe, um, anything that would just help me know that I'm on the right track. But thanks so much for coming out, guys. I'm having a ton of fun making our way through the campaign. Next time we finish this, probably start the next one, and we'll go from there. Thanks so much for coming out. Bye-bye.